All right, in this podcast, I'm going to go over the electron study guide. All right, first off, let's talk about the shapes of all the orbitals. Okay, so if you remember, an S orbital is shaped like a sphere, which is basically a 3D circle. The P orbital is shaped like an infinity sign or dumbbell. Okay, the D orbital, I think of it as kind of a four-leaf clover. Okay, that's like the crappiest four-leaf clover drawing I've ever done in my life. There we go. Maybe this one will be a little prettier. Okay, so uh, four of them at least look like this, so that's probably enough for us just to say that generally most of these look like clovers. All right, and S kind of like 2D squashed together, so it looks sort of like the clover, but it's got eight lobes on it. So there's something that has eight lobes on it. So I commonly refer to it as a double clover. Okay, so the picture or the word will suffice. All right, the S can hold a total of how many electrons? Two. P can hold six total electrons. D can hold 10 and F can hold 14. This is the same as the number of boxes going across that are in each of those um, sections of the periodic table. All right. How many S orbitals per energy level? Okay. Well, if you remember back, there's only ever one sphere per energy level. So, whoop, where'd my pen go? There it is. Okay. So there's one. Uh, P, remember there's three. X, Y, and Z axis. D, there are five and F there are seven. So it's basically the odd numbers and it's half of how many total electrons they can hold. All right, now we're gonna move on to the actual configuration part. Okay, for bromine, we need to do all of these things. I'm gonna start at the Bohr model and then I'm gonna go up and do electron, noble gas, and orbital. So I'm gonna start with Bohr. Um, the Bohr model, there are 35 total electrons here. Okay, so on the Bohr model, on the first ring, you can only have two. On the second ring, you can have a maximum of eight. Third ring, you can have a maximum of 18. Okay, so that's taking care of 28 electrons so far, which leaves us with the fourth ring having a total of seven. Okay, so you would need to draw this and show the electrons on each of the rings I don't have that much time, sorry. <laughs> so make sure you draw um, the correct number of electrons on each ring or the first, second, third, fourth thing really suffices, it's fine with me. All right, electron configuration. You always start with 1s, so it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3D10, and then we end on 4P5. Okay, noble gas configuration, up one all the way over to the noble gas. The noble gas is argon, and then you just continue. So we got argon, 4S2, 3D10, and then ending on 4P5. Okay, now your orbital diagram. Okay, so for the first S, you got one box, arrows up and down because there are two electrons. Then you got your 2S, one up, one down. Then comes 2P, which are three boxes. Everybody gets an up, and then everybody gets a down. Okay, then you got your 3S. Your 3P, three boxes, and then you get up, 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 down, down, down. Then you got your 4S with an up and a down. Then after 4S, I'm going to leave myself some room. You have 3D, 3D has five boxes. Okay, and it fills up, 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 you know, everybody gets an up before anybody gets a down, but since it's full, I'll just go ahead and shortcut, that was the 3D. And then you get 4P5. So this is the one that really matters. So everybody gets an up, 
and then you got two left, and then everybody gets a down, okay? So you got one left over there, okay? All right, we're going to complete the same thing, but for Francium, and I hate myself for this because this darn thing is so large, okay? So for Francium, you have Bohr model. Let's see, there are 87 electrons total. So for Bohr, on the first string, there are two. Second ring, there are eight. Third ring, there are 18. Fourth ring, there are 32. Okay, so add those up. Let's see, that is going to be 10, 28, and that's 30. That's 60 right there, so we still have 27 more electrons to deal with. So... That basically tells us that on the fifth ring, we should have 27 electrons. Now, of course, Bohr's model is way wrong, so don't let that concern you. All right, um, electron configuration for Francium. I'll be writing for a while, but this is basically what we're looking at. So we got 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6. 5s2, 4d10, 5p6, 6s2, all right, and then after 6s, you go down to 4f14, back up to 5d10, then you got 6p6, and then you end on 7s1. All right, to noble gas, that one, you would get Rn, 7s1 in the noble gas way better okay and then the orbital diagram is going to be god-awful so one second on that okay let's see if you can do it that fast no just kidding I so paused it and did it <laughs> okay so here is the orbital diagram for um, FR notice that everything's filled up until you get to the very last orbital which is 7s and he only has one electron okay all right, the next one was LA. I must have been really mad at you guys when I made this um, study guide. Okay, so for LA, first we're going to do the Bohr model. All right, so LA has 57 electrons, not near as bad as the uh, 87, I suppose. So the first ring has 2, the second ring has 8. Third ring has 18, so that just took a pair of uh, 23 of them. I mean, 28 of them, sorry. And then fourth ring, well, if it had all 32, that would bring us to 60. And we don't have quite 60. We have three less than that, so we really get 29 on that fourth ring. Okay, noble guy, I mean, the electron configurations, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, 4d10, 5p6, and 6s2. And then notice that his atomic number is 57. So hypothetically, he should be a 5d1, okay? So this one's kind of funky. So I probably would give this to you if you had said 4F1 or if you had said 5D1 because he's kind of a funky one. So I would have taken either one of those, okay? All right, noble gas configuration would be XE, 6S2, and then just depending on which way you went, either 4F1 or 5D1, okay? And then the orbital diagram for this one. All right, here's the orbital, orbital diagram, and then I didn't do the very last one because depending on if you went 4F1 or 5D1, you would either draw 4F or 5D, okay, and have one electron in the very first box, and that's it. All right, and the last one is TL, okay. Uh, that one has 81 electrons, so Bohr model is going to be 
first is going to have 2, second is going to have 8, third is going to have 18, fourth is going to have 32. That gets us to 60 electrons. And then that leaves us 21 left for the fifth one. All right, electron configurations, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, 4p6, 5s2, 4d10, 5p6, 6s2, 4f14, 5d10, and then that leaves us with 6p1. Okay? Noble gas would be Xe, 6s2, 4f14, 5d10, and 6p1. Okay? All right, then to do the orbital diagram, last one of these. All right, and here's the orbital diagram for that. And you see that 6p1 only has one electron.